Hey y'all, I haven't done a video in a while, but there has been so much going on. I just really, we're excited about it and I wanted to be able to up update you guys in person, as in person as I can get, on what we've been doing and some of the inspiration behind things. So, um, I wanted to talk about our Lawrence ticking stripe. It seems, everybody seems to be liking it so far, um, but just a little behind the the production of it so we had gotten some feedback people were looking for something other than a white or the natural and people were asking for colors and and I was thinking about still the heirloom feeling and what we wanted to do to continue that but maybe add a pop of color um, so I was thinking about the ticking stripe and thinking about its utilitarian use back in the day, but it seems to be coming back into trend, and I wanted Redland Cotton to have their own take at it. So I picked up a few pieces of just heirloom um, upholstery fabric, really, um, in a ticking, and looked at the patterns, and we sent it to the printer. We're using a printer in South Carolina to print these fabrics on our our fabric. So if you buy a Lawrence ticking stripe, it is the same fabric that we've been using on all of our bed sheets thus far. So you should the feeling might be a little bit more crisp and a little bit more stiff initially just because it does have a pattern printed on it. But after a few washings and you get the the printed texture uh, kind of going away, it's just as soft as what you're seeing in our white and our natural and from our sheets. So, uh, we named the ticking stripe after the county where a primary amount of our farmland is, which is Lawrence County. Um, it just seemed appropriate that we would pay homage to a hard-working agriculture community um, with a patterned sheet and sheet line that uh, had utilitarian roots. So that was important to us. We've been uh, receiving some questions about the color. Um, the ticking stripe color could be best described as charcoal on a natural background. Um, in this light and many other lights, it's very easy to see it as navy, um, but it's best described as charcoal. We want it to be, again, just a little different from what I've been seeing out there, which is navy and blue. Um, so we wanted to differentiate ourselves a little bit from the rest of the pack. Um, and so I wanted to kind of show you guys, this is one of our um, Bankhead Basic Shams. And I wanted to show you how well it pairs with our ticking stripe sham. And obviously we have a ticking stripe um, duvet on the bed right now. And it all really plays really nice together. It, it's soft, but it's masculine. And we think it makes a really beautiful bed, especially combining the natural with the stripe. So doing a natural duvet and a ticking sham is also a really beautiful way to pair these things and um, and just going from there talking about our bankhead basics so um, we felt like we got our sheets down and everybody was really liking the texture and the feeling and so we felt confident enough that we could expand into other duvets and shams so while we were creating the ticking stripe we just went ahead and created shams and duvets in our white and our natural colors as well. So now, if you love the texture and the comfort of our cotton fabric, you can now have it um, in all aspects of your bed, on top of your bed in the form of shams and duvets. And we've tried to do them as just basic pieces so they can be your staples. You can layer on texture, textured pillows, um, different uh, blankets, and those still be your anchoring pieces for your bed. Um, that are there for decoration, yes, but can also be a pile of pillows that you pile on 
to watch uh, Saturday cartoons. So we have that going on, and then we're, we have also started a new line of bed sheets. These sheets are, just have a simple hem, so there's no lace, there's no decorative stitching, so we're able to offer these at a lower price point. It's still the same fabric that we've been using, just more simple. So we're calling those the Bankhead Basics that we just want to be able to offer a staple, no frills, no fluff, but just good quality um, bedding that can be a staple for years to come, hopefully. Uh, this is um, a pillowcase, the Bankhead Basic on a pillow. You can see none of the hem stitching, but still just a nice clean look. And lastly, I wanted to share another really fun thing that we have in the works that I'm hoping to put on pre-order soon, um, and that is going to be our farm to home bath towels. So we will be offering these towels in a white and in a natural. They're being made by a mill in Georgia. Um, a unique thing about the feeling, it's going to be 100% our cotton in the loops, and it will be a two-ply towel. And I know that that's probably doesn't mean a whole lot uh, initially, but when you get a two-ply towel, it's supposed to be a lot more absorbent, a lot more durable. So they, at the mill, did a design that is unique to us in the Dobby Weave um, with chevrons and roping and really going back to some traditional designs that were really marks of home for as long as you can recall. Chevrons have been a symbol of home for a very long time in textile design, so we were thrilled to have that be part of our design and our towels. Um, just to hold some up here, this is a hand towel in the white and the natural. They're really beautiful. Again, I feel like they will be really good staples and they're going to be long lasting because, and I actually had to ask this question of the engineers there, they weave out to the selvage edge. So it's not sewn down on the sides. When they are sewn down, and a lot of overseas, overseas made towels are sewn down, the likelihood that those seams are going to break and you get a frayed towel is very high. Um, they are weaving all the way out so that edge is woven in. It will not bust and break out. So that was um, something I found really, really neat, something that I didn't know and didn't even think to look for or know. But anyhow, that's what we have going on and what we're working on and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, thanks for your time and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Thanks.